introducing a health and security levy. The government's policy decision to implement a health and security levy of 2.5% on select goods and services has the public and key stakeholders requesting clarification and information on the details of its implementation. In response, the Inland Revenue Department, IRD, has deployed officers to numerous VAT-registered entities to clarify how the levy is to be applied. Felicia Eli is the Acting Deputy Comptroller of the IRD. We are charged with the responsibility to administer the, the tax laws, quite a number of them in St. Lucia, and to ensure that things are in place to accommodate the taxpayers from across St. Lucia, across the world, who, are, who have dealings in, with St. Lucia, and uh, also to ensure that the laws are administered in a manner that is fair. She explained that via the Department of Finance, the two agencies charged with administering the health and security levy are the Inland Revenue Department and the Customs and Excise Department. This is quite a new tax um, for all of us. And uh, um, whereas on the goods part, we know it's both on goods, imported goods and um, on services. Whereas Customs is charged with the responsibility for the goods part, Inland Revenue has the responsibility to collect that the levy on the services part. The tax official noted that though the levy came into effect on August 2nd on both goods and services, for the months of August and September, a zero rating has been applied to services. The 2.5% levy on select services will commence in October 2023. Businesses would have the entire month of October to collect and they are to remit the collection for that month um, by the 21st of November. So the levy basically is collected 21 days after a month has ended. The acting deputy comptroller also sought to explain the computation of the levy, which she stressed should only be collected by VAT-registered businesses. Just by way of an example, I will say if you require um, to do whatever work it is on your vehicle, motor vehicle that costs $100, the levy would be applied at the rate of 2.5%. So it would mean, that would mean that the, the amount you'd have to pay would be $100 plus the levy, which is 2.5%, which makes it $102.50. Thereafter, I, since VAT is a final tax, we just want to make it clear that since VAT is a final tax, the VAT would be charged on that amount. She said the IRD is actively monitoring the implementation of the levy and had a strong message for potential abusers of the tax policy. It is an offence to collect any tax if you are not um, obligated to do that. For instance, if you are not a registrant for the levy and you collect the levy, then it definitely it is an offence. and. Uh, um, you, you definitely can be charged for, for um, do, doing so. The Inland Revenue Department, she says, will continue to put out advisories for both the public and the business community on the implementation of the health and security levy. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.